Hey, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. My name's Tommy Jordan, your Palm Springs area real estate agent. If you have questions about leased land in the Palm Springs area, maybe you're thinking about making a move and buying a home on leased land. Well, I'm gonna answer all the questions I frequently get on leased land. And uh, if you wanna know more about the Palm Springs area, then you're gonna need to hit that subscribe button for weekly videos and also smash that like button. All right, let's do this. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I'm open a ball today. Got lost in the all right, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about leased land, and then at the end of this video, give you some tips about leased land that are more specific. All right, the first question you're most likely asking yourself is, what is an Indian leased land? What is it? Well, that requires a quick history lesson. In 1876, the Pacific Railroad laid the tracks down from Yuma, Arizona, all the way to Los Angeles. Now the Agua Caliente Band of Indians were deeded 52,000 acres by the United States government throughout the Palm Springs area. Now Indian land is sort of in a checkerboard pattern. Now the land that wasn't for Pacific Railroad went to the Agua Caliente tribe of Indians. In leased land, you don't actually own the land like you do with fee simple land. You basically own the structure on top of the land. You don't own the land beneath it. Now the price of a leased land is usually around 1400 to 8000 a year depending on the desirability of the neighborhood. Now leases are paid monthly and sometimes annually. The length of leased land is usually long, but it does vary. Now I'm selling this gorgeous home in South Palm Springs right now, and that lease was renewed and it doesn't end till 2081. So that's when we'll have to renew it again. So when you're selling or buying a home on leased land, you're not directly dealing with the owner of the land, but you're dealing with the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Now, some leased land isn't owned by um, Indian tribe, but it's actually developer leases or business leases. Leased land usually increases at the same rate as fee simple land. And what I tell people is the biggest factor in uh, selling home on leased land isn't really if it's leased land or fee simple land, it's the condition of your home and, and how nice it is, just like you know on any normal real estate transaction. Now, I'm gonna give you some tips about buying a home on leased land. Really the first step is to find a local lender in the Palm Springs area. This is so important. A lender who understands about lending on leased land. There are many lenders who've never dealt with leased land before and they won't process an application if it's for leased land. I could recommend you a great lender who knows the community and has experience with leased land. Usually a lender will want the remaining term of the lease to be five years or longer than the actual term of the loan. Most of the Palm Springs area isn't on leased land. You have leased land in Palm Springs, Cathedral City, and parts of Rancho Mirage. And here's a map where you could sort of see the leased land. So if you wanna to come to Palm Springs and you don't want a home on leased land, well, there are plenty of neighborhoods out there that aren't on leased land. And that's something I could help you with. Buying a home on leased land typically gets you a 15 to 20 percent nicer of a home. So you could basically live in a more upgraded, a more luxurious home than you could because leased land is usually cheaper than fee simple. Now this is sort of a case by case basis because some neighborhoods are actually on leased land and they're more expensive than the homes on fee simple land because that neighborhood is so desirable. Now the last tip is really find a local realtor who knows the area, knows the neighborhoods, the communities and could help you and answer any questions you have on leased land. For example, you give me a call. I have people call me all the time. My contact information is right below if you have any questions on leased land. And also, please leave a comment um, down below in the comments about leased land or you know comments on the Palm Springs area. I'd love to help you. I just want to thank you for watching this quick video on leased land. I hope it helped and uh, you know I'll see you guys next time.